Hi there, it's Moses and uh, well, it seemed like my last unboxing video was pretty popular so I'm going to do another one. I got another guitar. This one is not a Cozart cheapo guitar off eBay. This is a Valiant Guitars Jupiter Mola, I believe is the name, and it uh, has a story behind it. Okay, so here's the story. Back in either late October or early November, I was surfing around and went to the Valiant Guitars website. I saw the Jupiter Mola, and the website didn't look like this, like it does now. It looked like this. Now, Valiant Guitars is a Ukrainian company, and yes, I'm aware that there's a war going on right now, and things may be a little bit different, but in American culture, this looks like the guitar is on sale at a ridiculously low price. How could I say no? I read it very carefully, added it to my cart, and I didn't see anything in the fine print that said anything about it costing more except that I would be paying a hundred dollars in shipping. So I paid two hundred ten dollars for this guitar and said it's worth it, they're a good company and I can live with a pink guitar or just repaint it myself. Uh, fairly soon after I got an email from Igor at Valiant Guitars and uh, he said this was a perfect time to place my order because they had all the wood and the hardware and the pickups were already on their way. Great. Uh, since this is a custom made guitar, I said, does this need to be pink? Can it be blue? And Igor wrote back and said, sure. What kind of blue? And I emailed him back with the color blue that I was thinking of. You know, when you dream of a guitar a certain color, there you go. Not a Lake Placid blue, I was looking for something darker. And then, from Igor, I heard absolutely nothing. Several weeks later, I tried emailing Igor again, and I said, what's the status? How are things going? And I did not get a response. I went back to the Valiant Guitar website, which still looked like this, and I found the customer service link and I sent them a message. said, this is my order number. I haven't heard anything. I was talking to Igor, but now he's not answering. I got an email fairly soon after from Alex, and he was friendly and professional and said there'd been some changes in personnel, restructuring, something like that, and that he would now be helping me out with this order, uh, it's, which is in process right now. Very good. I then you know, said, okay, things are moving along, very good, and waited. After a, a few more weeks, I emailed Alex, said, how's it going? He said, it's almost done. Great. And then a few days later, he, he sent me an email that said, your guitar is done. Uh, here are some pictures. Uh, how do you want to pay for the remainder of the price? And I went to the website, which still looked like this, and I said, I wasn't aware that this was going to cost any more than what it said it was going to cost. It never mentioned that I would have to pay the rest of that price. A little insert here, I forgot to mention that Alex wrote back that Someone else had done that website and they were getting it redone. And this guitar that you're showing me pictures of is pink. Igor and I had agreed that it was going to be blue. I don't want a pink guitar for $3,000. And I said, it will be fine if you want to sell this guitar to someone else. You can just refund my money. And he said, we will make your blue guitar. And he had me send him the exact color again uh, and that they would give me a discount on it. Okay. Uh, I agreed to that and 
proceeded to wait for them to build a whole new guitar. Now, again, I know there's a war going on over there and things are not exactly ideal. So, I waited three and a half months, almost four. And then I emailed Alex and said, did you forget about my order? If you did, that's fine. Just give me my money back and we'll be done. And they said, no, there's just been power outages. Things have been going slowly. It's hard to get things shipped in, etc. And that they were working on my guitar. It should be done in two weeks. About three weeks later, Alex emailed me, okay, it's done. We just have to do the aging and then we'll be able to ship it. Okay. Uh, then they were able to do that. Alex asked me for, um, I forget exactly if he asked me for all the, all the money or with the discount. I think he remembered the discount, but he was asking me to pay shipping again, which I had already done. Um, unfortunately he said that shipping had gone up, but he did not charge me again for shipping, uh, since I had already paid it. Um, on the plus side, it took only about a week to get from the Ukraine to my house. UPS was unable to, to deliver it because I was at work the first two times they tried and it required a signature, which I totally understand for something like this. But uh, today it finally arrived. There it is. Okay. Seems like it's in pretty good shape. They may have opened it a little bit at customs or something like that. But... I can understand that too. So here it is. That looks like I can open it right here on camera. Very exciting. And there we go. We do have a hard case. You know what? I'm going to have to lay this down to do it, which means I'm going to be out of frame. Okay, there we go, nice hard case. What do you think? Okay, there it is, a little, uh, little logo there, very nice, Valiant Guitars. I'm gonna open it up. I know the pictures for the second one they sent me were blue, so I'm hoping that that's what I actually got. It's blue. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so we have uh, an aged guitar. So it looks like it's old, but it's brand new. There, I like this uh, nice little scratch there and <laughs> everything. Okay. Um, got a nice volume and tone here. Uh, pickup selector, as you would expect. These things here or uh, they say right now they're on parallel but it, it, you could switch it to serial parallel and single coil very cool um, all right looks neat check out the nut there that's uh, not your standard nut that's a, that's a pretty cool nut there um, of course I'm sure it's been tuned down for shipping no, not really. Cool. I think we should plug it in and see how it sounds. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the parallel sound. How about series? Yeah, parallel this is series. So back to the parallel.
mind. Here's single quote, tiny bit of buzz, which is expected. So dual humbucker. Sorry, the snare drum is humming. It likes this song, I guess. How's that sound on now? Uh, single coils. A little, uh, I guess it's called a detente right here at, at 10. I'm not sure why 10 is the detente because it's easy to find 10. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to have that somewhere in the middle, like five. Now, the volume does not do that, of course, they're not push pull because why would they be? We've got that here, uh, anyway. Good. Uh, oh, so these are both single coil, <laughs> but it doesn't hum cancel there. And they're, and they're both. They could have just put them out of phase, and then then they would, right? <coughs> anyway, well, uh, another thing I wanted to mention. Yeah, I mentioned the uh, the cool nut. Uh, the truss rod adjuster is right here, so that's easy to get to. I uh, hope you can see that there. And then back here we have awesome locking tuners. So, okay, that's pretty good. Unplug this here. Made in Ukraine, which we knew. Very cool. Not super heavy or anything like that. I like the inlays. Got that nice triangle inlay there. Little Valiant guitars here. Wouldn't mind if it had a whammy, but uh, that's all right. This is cool. I can I can I can work with this, right? Uh, frets are nice. No sharp edges po pointing out like you might expect with a cheap guitar, which I didn't expect here. My uh, yeah. That looks nice and straight, just like you would want it to be. All right, well, that's about all I got.
Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Is this a good plan or not? I'm going to try it in church tomorrow. <laughs>